Hey, welcome back to Postal Barbecue. I'm Jabin Postal, and today at the grill, we're gonna be smoking some sausage and cabbage. Uh, it's something that's simple to do and tastes incredible. And just like always, I'm gonna put all the show notes for you, as well as the full recipe in the description box below. So make sure to click down there to see everything that you need for this cook. Also, if you like what we're doing on this channel, consider subscribing for more great barbecue recipes, tutorials, and reviews. And other than that, let's get into the cook. As I said, welcome back to Postal Barbecue. Appreciate you being here. Uh, today, we're gonna be cooking up this dish that I've been really enjoying, uh, cooking in the winter on the stovetop inside. And so today I thought I'd bring it outside, use up some of the remaining coals from the cook I just finished um, to make these smoked sausages. We'll cook up some cabbage on the cast iron as well and bring it all together and let those flavors just speak for themselves. And so there isn't much to really prepare for the smoked sausages. And so basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to take our pit barrel uh, device and we're going to grab a couple of these uh, sausages and we're just going to lay them down into here. I'm going to leave these attached and there's only space for four so I'm going to have to cook that these ones up uh, in two different batches or just save them for later. And then what you do is you just take this and it goes on and basically right here uh, there are some different levels. I'm going to use the middle level. That's basically how thick these sausages are. Place that in. We're going to clamp it shut. And then I'm going to take my meter plus, I'm going to place it into one of these sausages just to monitor the internal temperature so I know uh, how it's cooking. And so with that ready, I'm going to place it into the pit barrel cooker. There we go. I'm also going to take some uh, cherry wood chunks. I'm going to place that onto those hot coals as well. Then we're gonna close the lid and we're gonna let those sausages just cook uh, in that cherry wood smoke just to absorb all of that good flavor that it offers. And while that's cooking, we're just gonna prepare uh, our cabbage uh, to cook on the cast iron. And so basically what we're gonna be doing is um, we're gonna take our cabbage and slice it in half. Then we're gonna chop it in half again. And I found that for me, a quarter of a cabbage is the perfect amount paired with a couple of sausages. And so what I like to do is you'll notice there is uh, this big core here. I like to slice that out. And then we're just gonna cut it into uh, three different sections. There we go. And then we're gonna make some big chops with it. All right, so next we have our garlic and I did go ahead and uh, peel off the outside already. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm basically just gonna cut these into uh, large chunks. And as this cooks, it's gonna soften and it's gonna be similar to like a roasted garlic result. All right, so let's get our cast iron hot. And so our temperature for the cast iron is set up to be cooking around medium heat or maybe even a medium low heat at times uh, because we want this cabbage to cook slowly and really just start braising uh, as it cooks. All right, so we're gonna start by placing some bacon fat into our cast iron. Then we're gonna take all of our cabbage. We're gonna place that into the cast iron. There we go, we're gonna take next all of our garlic and we're gonna place that into there as well. And then I'm gonna season it with some Mad Cow uh, rub. This is gonna add some salt, some pepper, uh, some a little bit of spice to that. It's gonna go really nice with this. And then lastly, this is my preference, take a, you know, just a pinch of sugar and just add that to there as well. <laughs> Mix that all together. And then the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add in just a little bit of water. Then I'm gonna close the lid and keep that steam in there to let that cabbage just braise uh, basically in this cast iron. And we're just gonna continue to watch it and stir it as needed. All right, so this cabbage is all cooked down and this has been going for about 15 minutes now. So let's take a look. Go, we'll grab our thermometer. And 
yeah, this is where I like it. All right, there we go. And so I cook this to around 175. Uh, that's just my preferred uh, temperature for sausage. Um, if you like it a little bit lower, cook it lower. If you like it cooked a little bit more, cook it a little bit more. Um, that's the great thing about cooking. We get to cook the way that we like it. So this cabbage is also done. So I'm gonna turn that heat off. Uh, I'm gonna pull out our sausages from the cage and then we'll come back and be ready for the taste test. So after only about 15 minutes total cooking time, this sausage and cabbage is all done. It smells so good. It's just a really a nostalgic smell for me uh, growing up with Polish grandparents. You know, this is sort of the stuff that we would eat whenever we would go over to their place. And so let's grab some of the sausage. You know, just look at that. You can see there's a really nice smoke ring all around there just from the pit barrel and that cherry wood smoke that we put in there. This never disappoints. All right, uh, let's go for the taste test. This is the way you want to eat it. A little bit of sausage, a little bit of cabbage, and a little bit of garlic. So here we go. Mm -hmm. You know, these flavors aren't big and bold, but the way they complement each other are just so nice. With the sausage, you get that richness and fattiness. Uh, and then when it's paired with that cabbage, the cabbage brings a bit of sweetness to it. And then we add that uh, mad cow and just brings a bit of that pepper uh, flavor to it. Bring it together and this dish is a winner for sure. So if you've never tried a sausage and cabbage like this before, make sure to give it a try because it is so good. It's simple to do and doesn't take any time at all. It's smoky, simple, and incredibly delicious. This smoked sausage and cabbage dish is one to try out for sure. Hey, if you want to see more barbecue videos just like this one, make sure to hit that subscribe button as well as that notification bell. Also, special thank you to all my patrons out there who help support this channel each week. Until next time, keep that fire lit and get cooking.